levels are okay. Cool. It's very common to hear with women saying that when they grow up, they didn't have female friends, mainly guy friends, because they didn't get along with women well, because of their cattiness and their lying and their backstabbing. Not so with men. You don't really hear guys saying, you know, I, I didn't like hanging around guys because of the psychological abuse, the lying, the backstabbing, the manipulation. I could never trust guys. Sure, there's the outliers. Guys lie too. But at men's call, men have something called honor that we really respect and closely tied to honor is keeping your word and abiding by promises. And it takes a lot, a lot for a man to break his word about something very, very important, especially when he's giving his word to someone else about a foundation to life. I mean, where do you think things like uh, contracts got invented? Men in a civilized sense were so wanting to make the world just, fair, and the morals of a man was codified in contracts. But you notice the only contract, the only contract in English law that is allowed to be broken just because you feel differently is a marriage contract. Look it up. And let's not even go into who benefits from breaking that contract. But Let's get back to women not liking themselves. Women lie to themselves, men believe the lie, and then that lie to themselves ends up lying to everyone around them. That's what the heartbreak is. But women, I don't think, directly lie to men. Not to say that we should excuse it. At the heart of women's lies is women being naturally born enemies to each other. They don't like themselves. They backstab each other. You just, you just need to ask most women about their experience with their female friends growing up in school. And there was a lot of psychological abuse, lying, manipulation. And so I think a woman, because of her mistrust and dislike of other women, and also I think it plays into women disliking themselves. And here's what I mean. Look at, look at everything about a woman. It's misdirection, makeup, push-up bras. You look at women's problem with their body image, how the claws come out between their female friends. They can't keep friends. They can't get along with other women. They mistrust other women. They pretend to compliment each other, but they don't. They dress themselves up to like each other because they don't. They're natural enemies to one another. And as a consequence, women don't like themselves that much. And they're always overcompensating to try and like themselves more. You know, you know, we're worth it. Hey, sisters, we love each other. We got your back. Oh, you look beautiful in that dress. You have to cover the female in fashion to see some beauty in herself because she's got such self-loathing for the female, but she's trying to love herself. Th this is primarily, I think, why women wrap up their world in external superficial beauty from being interested in fashion, from being interested in renovating houses. It's always dressing something up, a, a rebirth of something like refashioning Dressing up your life by going on a holiday, new environments, never sitting still enough and just coming to terms with that. Do you know what I mean? This is also why most men feel invisible in relationships, why a, a relationship with most women feels like it's just her relationship. You're never doing anything good enough. She's never satisfied. You're never doing it right. Whatever the direction is, is her direction. Whatever the upgrade is in house, car, kids, lifestyle, um, the boredom, the need for variety, it's always her directing and steering it. It feels like her relationship because it is because she needs so much validation because she doesn't like herself. It's why women go on about the sisterhood. They want it to be true, but it's not. They don't believe in themselves. They don't like themselves because they don't really put their hands on the world to find out who they are. Most of the time, they're having a relationship up here. And even as guys and as a human being, man or woman knows, if you're always having a relationship up here and you're never testing it and touching it against the world, you really never find out who you are. Women are trying to now and they're struggling. And the hard thing is they've burnt the bridge with men saying, we don't need your help. And all men want to do is help them. 
Now, I, I think women are overcompensating with disliking men to try and really try and find a way to authentically love themselves, but they don't. It's in their nature not to. I wish them the best of luck. I just wish women would be more honest about their self-loathing and how they know they can't trust other women, yet they pretend sisters are doing it for themselves, like they're all a big happy family. And this is the thing. Women are natural born enemies, but men are just neutral to each other. We don't actually care about each other. We don't actually care about ourselves. We will go to war and lay down our, our life for our country, our women, anything that we love. We actually love the thing in and of itself. We take pride in our country. We take pride in keeping our word. We take pride in families, in our wives, in, in, in all these things. We take pride in all these things outside of us and we show it by keeping our promise. Guys don't love each other. Uh, we respect the honor and the words men keep, and it shows we respect each other, but we're very neutral. We don't care about each other. We're kind of here. We're in the middle. We don't hate each other. We don't love each other. But if a man does something to be admirable, keeps his word, achieves something in life, actually objectively shows, oh, well, that's something to be loved. Oh, I haven't done that. That's really hard to achieve. Look at the word he kept and what he built or what he did. That's lovable. That's admirable. But aside from that, men are very, very neutral. But I think because of the hard wiring that men just love women in and of, in and of themselves, it's connected to childbirth, their mothers. Women are just goddesses to most men. And uh, as such, we believe everything that comes out of their mouths. And the most meaningful things that comes out of their mouths, like I love you, or I promise, or I never will, or I always will, you can believe me, I swear, I promise. But um, for most women, it's to induce safety in that moment and for good feelings. So it's part of their survival. And one could say it's not their fault, but it is because all of us are responsible for our actions and what we say. So it is their fault, but it's a way of understanding how women are and how they lie to themselves. A man loves his woman the way he would his daughter on a very similar, if not same level. You see, most guys treat their woman like she's a little girl and she loves being treated that way. And as such, they excuse every lie and all the abuse and hatred towards him because he loves pumpkin just like he would love his daughter. Men actually really, really love women just for who they are as a person. Men love things for what they are, autotelically. Man loves his car for what it is. A man loves his country. Man loves his hobby. Man loves his woman. Um, he loves the things in and of themselves. He just loves them, especially once they prove themselves to him. He loves them, and it's very, very hard to break that. There needs to be a very, very good reason. But a woman really doesn't love a man. A woman loves herself through a man. Most women want to love themselves because they innately don't. So women love themselves through men. When a woman says, I love you, she loves how he loves her. And as a consequence, she loves herself through his love of her. Women don't love men. They love themselves through a man's eyes. So I think that's the big betrayal for men. Men believe those earnest words of I promise, I love, uh, and things of that nature because it's almost absolute and unbreakable when it comes from a man's mouth. It's unthinkable that anyone would break such a vow. And you would never respect anyone who would break a vow. But if it comes from a woman's mouth, everyone not only forgives it, but it's just normal. You know, the old saying, it's a prerogative for a woman to change her mind. It's another way of saying it's okay for women to lie. I hope that was edifying for both men and women, that women are natural born enemies and they dislike each other. And as a consequence, they dislike themselves. And so they want men to love them as a validating factor. They want, they love men as an ego boost. So when a woman says, I love you to a man, most women are saying, I want you to make me love myself through your pedestalizing of me, of you thinking I'm special. 
That's what love is to most women. Make me feel really special continually. With most women, they're born with it. Um, it might have been exacerbated by the way they were raised. If they were actually told they were worthless or they weren't given affection or, or given any worth by their parents, her, their mother or father, even worse. Because it's already in a, in a woman's nature not to like herself and not to trust other women and to lie to each other. If the parents exacerbated that as well, poof, forget it. Something interesting to think about. Uh, let me know about my perspective in the comment section what you think. Subscribe, like, donate if you feel like it, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Bye. Have a good week. This was an interesting one.